Hello everyone, um, my name's Mira um, and this is my tutorial for Gry Falter. Gry Falter is a beautiful Manx slow air um, and this arrangement uh, was taught to me by my harp teacher, Rachel Hare. Um, so good luck! So this is what the A part of Gry Falter sounds like. So the first phrase goes like this. starts with a G chord really so your left hand plays a G octave whilst your right hand plays up three from A so third on A second on B and thumb on D so you miss out the C and you play the upbeat B with your second and you play kind of up this chord like it was uh, like glissando like you separate the notes So it's in the same pattern, but to, to the D. So your third on D, second on E, and thumb on G, whilst your left hand just plays an E and a B. So that together sounds like this. your left hand plays a C with your thumb and uh, down to the D so and up like an A third so second on A thumb on C you kind of separate the notes slowly so it sounds so kind of that bit together goes 
goes like this. So, so far that whole first phrase should go like this. The next phrase um, is kind of similar. Um, it, it starts the same with the same chord, the same G chord, but instead of moving your left to the B and the B, like we did in the first phrase, now we're just going to kind of go down a scale, so we um, play an F and then an E octave, so it's just... So fourth on C, third on E, second on G, and thumb on C, and we play that like glissando. So the right hand goes. The two hands together should sound F with the two and then whilst you play the C chord, that's when you play your E octave, so still ringing, uh, you have to kind of play a fold in sequence that sounds like this, which is just like an upbeat into the next phrase. So um, it's three down from D and you crash your thumb down to the A. And as you play that G with your second finger, you want to start playing a C uh, arpeggio. So you want to pull um, your right hand down with your thumb on G, second on E, and third on D. Kind of like that kind of motion. Whereas your left hand, you want to play a D, D7. So fourth on D, second on A, and thumb on C. So together that should sound. So that phrase all together is... I'll just play it through for you so you know how it sounds. the whole 
the whole length off. Um, so I'll just break that down. It starts with the same chord that um, we play at the beginning. So a G octave in our left hand, and then up to B from A in our right. So it sounds. And then when we move up with our right hand, our left hand um, plays this pattern. It's the E to D to E again. So you cross over when you your thumb on G uh, on D, and you cross your second to the E. So it sounds. So the B part uh, is kind of like higher up the harp. I'll just play it through um, so you can hear it. Play 
with this pattern. Um, and it's very kind of simple really, it's just um, third on C, second on D, thumb on G, and you play that like a arpeggiated chord. And then you keep your thumb and second finger where they are, but move your third down to a B. And then same thing again, keep your uh, thumb and second where they are, but move your third down to the A. But then this time, instead of clicking it like a chord, you kind of separate the notes. And then a big kind of F chord, a big stretch, so fourth on F, second on D, thumb on A. two hands together it's very uh, rubato this piece so it's not really got any strict rhythm and um, so kind of play it as you want to really but um i'll try and um keep it as straight as possible for for now so um it should sound like this <laughs> when you play the second chord where you move your third down to the B. And then as you start to come up with um, with your left right hand that's when you play the separated chord. And then the kind of the the the, the second part of the B part for this half, um, same right hand, except this time we have a more of kind of a broken down um, left hand, so it sounds like this. And basically all it is, is you play um, second F, uh, second finger on C with your left hand. And then come up a B chord with a, a, a G in your thumb. chord when we uh, played it in the first time through, the separated A chord, and then the big F. Show that one more time. And then we play that that pattern um, another time, um, same as the first time through though. And then it does change after that, but if we just uh, try it up to there for now, from the very beginning of the B part. One, two, three.
minor changes here. So we play a D octave in our left hand. tune done so well done really well done it's a very very tricky piece um, and hopefully now you'll have the the chance to be able to put your own dynamics and your own like little flows and pauses and bring it out where you want to and make it your own a bit more and um, I think that's really important in this piece really that you're you, you know you put a bit of yourself into it and you interpret it and use it to express and um, what you want it to so good luck with that it takes a lot of practice but you'll get there <laughs> 